Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Selenia for those who do not know. And in this week's video, or just whatever today's video is, it's a sad one for me. I'm moving out of my apartment, so it's gonna be a little pack with me moving vlog. Really sad. Y'all, I love this place, but the rent just went up. It just went up and I'm trying to figure out what I'm trying to do, like with my personal life, all of that stuff. So I think that it's time to move on. So if you see all the mess in the background, it's because we are working unpacking. That is exactly what we are doing. So I've honestly been putting it off for a while. Alexa, off. I've honestly been putting it off for a while because today is September 2nd and I move on September 7th and I have to be officially out of the place on September 8th. So I'm really cutting it close, but it's gonna be all right. It's gonna be totally fine. So I wanted to bring you guys along for the journey. It's just gonna be like packing with me, all of that stuff. Today is actually Labor Day. So I'm gonna do a little bit of Labor Day festivities, but then I'm gonna come back and pack. I actually just packed all of my purses and then the ones that I wanna donate, I put them by the door because I have all my donation pile over there. I was working on selling stuff like on Poshmark and stuff like that, but that just takes too long. And I figured I'll just, Give it to somebody who needs it if it's like i don't know i don't know like the trendy stuff now then maybe that'll be easier to sell but if it's just like pieces that are little pieces here and there and things that just may help somebody else i feel like i'm just gonna donate it so that's pretty much the plan when it comes to that type of stuff i have boxes i have paper i have all that type of stuff i really want to start doing my dishes because that's my favorite thing to do because it's my easiest and i like to like pack it with the paper and all that stuff so i have that but then i need to figure out what am i gonna eat on for the next six days so we're gonna see we're gonna see how it's gonna go but i wanted to bring you guys along for the journey i'll try to show you guys as much stuff as i can and then maybe i can do a whole vlog of like cleaning move out process because i feel like that would be good and like real satisfying because i'm sure there's dirt and stuff that i don't even remember that i have to clean because you know you've just been living you only notice that when it's like empty 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 but yeah so that's the plan that's what's on the agenda i want to bring you guys along for the journey and let's do it hope you guys also enjoyed the apartment hunt vlog that i did i posted it yesterday but i'm working on that for a minute y'all i was actually down sick bad but we back we're back and i posted that video i need to do that and then i'm trying to work on editing the weekly vlog as well so yeah come along for this little moving vlog pack with me sort of thing and yeah i don't have another apartment that i'm moving to next i'm really just gonna vibe and figure it out but when i do figure out a new apartment i'll bring you guys along for the journey too because that's what we do that's literally what we do but come on let's go her packing some things and i'll see you guys when we start doing that okay maybe what should i start on next Let, let's just talk about it. i don't care what you guys see now because i'll move by the time this is out but like my room is here and then i have a closet here and then not just having a closet there i have all of these cabinets in my bathroom that's full of stuff just my stuff too don't get it wrong don't think that this is somebody else's just mine and then i have to clean this whole closet the whole thing and then let alone the kitchen and the living room so i really set myself up but look what i did i got rid of all my purses here so ooh. We're, do we're doing something, okay? Because the purses are empty there, they're empty. And now I think I'm gonna start working on shoes because shoes should be too hard. And the thing is, we'll just be like real transparent. I'm putting a lot of my stuff in my storage unit. So when I'm here with my boyfriend, all of my stuff is like there. So I'm able to like get all of that. And then the rest of the stuff is gonna be with my mom because that's where I'm gonna pretty much be staying until I figure out what I'm doing with my life, if that makes sense. So I'm really struggling with packing for two different places. And yeah, so that's what we're trying to do. That's what we're trying to make it work. Just don't ask me questions on why. Maybe it'll come out later why, but that's kind of what we're doing. And. Yeah, so I need to work on putting packing stuff for there. I'm packing stuff for here, and it's just, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be just fine because my stuff is gonna be somewhere. It just needs to get out of here. That's all that they care about is getting out of Pearl Rose Mine. It needs to get gone. So let's start putting some stuff in some boxes.
trap. Hit it with the rap. Put it on the map. Put me right back. Call me when you wanna get back. Twenty man turn up with the rats. I be pee on my back. Double cheese on my dash. Nigga, I'm bad. with Carmen we actually ended up running to a few stores to get some more boxes because I started putting my shoes away as you guys saw sorry it's Real Housewives of Salt Lake City in the background because I'm watching Love Island but we ended up going to where what did we go Marshall's Home Goods and then TJ Maxx get boxes they each gave me 10 boxes each so if you ever need boxes don't pay let me turn it down My new tip, because I used to buy boxes every single time I moved, and I move pretty much every year once my lease is up, do not buy boxes. Go into those stores. Don't be afraid. Ask for boxes because literally you're saving the planet, okay? You're really saving the planet because they use them to get their items in, and most of the time if it's places like that, it's like clothing items and stuff like that, and then you can use it for moving. And if you want to, you can always save them, choose them again, or just literally go ask again. Save the planet. Save some money. Save a dollar. Do all that stuff. But... Each place gave me 10 boxes each, so we're good. And they're nice, sturdy boxes, so I can put the rest of my shoes in there. So I think tonight my goal is to get the rest of my shoes. And then my other goal is to my little front closet in my bedroom has all of like my athleisure wear, my gym wear, my scrubs. I'm going to work on packing those all up in a box to make it feel like I did something. And then tomorrow my goal is to do a lot of my kitchen. And my goal is to work on my bathroom because y'all today is monday and i work on thursday so thursday's gone for packing because i work 12 hour shifts so really all i have is tuesday wednesday friday because they're coming saturday morning at 7 a.m so i have three whole days to pack my whole place okay it's gonna be okay it's gonna be fine. I literally texted Carmen and said she may have to come on Wednesday to come help me because I'm getting a little nervous, getting a little overwhelmed. And like my boyfriend can't help me because he works. And I'm just like, <laughs> I don't know what to do. So, okay, we're gonna be okay. I'm gonna start working on that stuff. I'm doing it while I'm watching Love Island, but I'm about to take a break and eat some of Thai that I had last night. But then we're gonna work on, I'm gonna put my athleisure wear here, my clothes that I like to wear that are like my fit fits. I'm gonna put that in a box and then I'm gonna put my gym clothes in another box and work on getting that stuff towards the door. That's the goal. So bring you guys along, we'll eat some Thai, start doing that, and then we'll see what we get through. But really, my goal is to get my shoes done. My, like I mentioned, my shoes done tonight and my front closet with all of the clothes, excuse me, folded up. And then tomorrow maybe I can film my scrub trialing haul so I can work on packing that. I'm still trying to create content and move y'all all at the same time. So shout out to me, shout out to me. But let's see what we can get done. It is currently 8 o'clock and I probably will be in bed by like maybe 11 or 12. But that's okay because I'm going to go to sleep and wake up early and do it again. So come along on this moving journey. I'm going to light a candle because I need to not be stressed. We're going to light a candle right now. See ya. <laughs> Alright, I just took Storm for a walk. These are not my dresses so I don't have to worry about that. But I have my athleisure clothes here. I think I have, what is this? my like my cute tops that i like to wear often 
my athleisure box is here that is full to the brim of everything athleisure and then i have my two-piece and my dresses here like the two-piece sets so these are all like in my i love to wear closet and then i'm gonna work on some more things y'all but it's crazy here it is literally crazy here but we're gonna get it together it is almost 11 oh it is 11 it's 11 11 just let out storm we're still watching some love island and let's see what other box i can fill up tomorrow my goal i already mentioned it before but the kitchen and my bathroom that's the goal so we'll see if i can maybe work on getting the rest of my main closet putting a box together and figuring out what to do with all these hangers because now these hangers need to go to my mom's with everything that i just took off the hanger so yeah let's do it y'all i'll probably see you guys tomorrow in the morning because this won't be very aesthetically pleasing it's just gonna be throwing stuff in a box so <laughs> see you tomorrow hi guys it is a new day today is tuesday september 3rd welcome to my disaster literally a disaster i got a really late start this morning but i was starting so i have pretty much finished my closet let's go here so you guys can see i just have my scrubs left because i need to do my scrub try and haul thought that i was doing that today no girl i literally just started looking like a person now because i was looking crazy for the whole day but i figured if i'm going on camera i gotta look like somebody so there's that um, just have to get these random shoes down here, but that's pretty much empty and put these random things in a box. A lot of my stuff is random and that's really what I struggle with because it's random stuff, like random shapes. And then I started putting my shoes in here and I just put all of my Nikes in here today. And then as you can see, this closet looks crazy, but I'm working on it. I got rid of a lot of my sweaters here, got rid of the shoes from up there, got rid of my purses here, which you guys saw. Got rid of all of the clothes down there. And now I honestly think I'm just gonna put these jackets, coats, heavy things in garbage bags at this point because what? Like, I don't know what else to do with it. I don't think I need to take it off a hanger to put it in like eight boxes. Um, so there's that. And then I'm getting ready right now to finish cleaning up this couch here because it looks like a disaster. I was sitting there watching Love Island and then I'm gonna start working on putting my dishes away. I'm gonna get Chipotle later, so I'm gonna work on starting to wrap all of these up. My favorite drawer, my pink drawer, my pink cabinet. Work on putting all of this type of stuff away. So I have that done and out the way, and then we'll see if I get to the bathroom tonight. But I'm making some progress. I was getting a little overwhelmed today, but I'm making some progress and it's gonna be okay. I'm gonna get as much as I can done. And if I have to stay up all night Friday to finish, I'm gonna have to stay up all night Friday to finish. And it just is what it is. And I think I'm taking all of my photos down either tomorrow or Friday because I know that stuff is easy. And yeah, so that's what we have. That's what the plan is. Let's get to wrapping some dishes and then we'll have a little break with Chipotle and then we'll see what else we get into. But I gotta keep working. Gotta keep putting through because it doesn't look like I've touched anything. It doesn't look like I have made much of a dent of anything, but I feel like I've been working all day. So. There's that. All right, I'll see y'all. Bye.
Target. I'm in Target now. I need to get tape and I need to get black garbage bags for my clothes. But while I was there, I was like, do you guys have boxes at customer service? They said yes. So they gave me like six. So there's that. Honestly, I'm not afraid to ask anywhere. Um, I do have my pedicure in 20 minutes. So I have to hurry up and do this and then head to the salon. But literally don't be afraid to ask for them. Literally they're free. They're probably going to go in like a compactor anyway might as well get a double use out of them so running to target for that so let's get this tape these garbage bags and we'll see what else we need but we're on a time crunch because gotta get my toes done they are looking crazy let's go but i'm here to get some tape and get garbage bags for my clothes so that sounds so bad but i'm at that point where that's what i gotta do let's find some heavy duty packing tape and get on out of here while wow, lauren hill is singing let's go <laughs> Got all the stuff in the car to bring to my mom's. I think this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven boxes that I have packed to go to my mom's. Okay, gonna work on packing some more while my car charges. Whew, I'm sweating bullets. Hi guys, it is a new day. Today is Friday, September 6th, and y'all, it is the last day of packing. Last day, last day part of the moving vlog before tomorrow when the people come at 7 a.m. and start to move all of my stuff from my apartment downstairs into the freight elevator, freight little dock, into a storage unit, y'all. Like, <laughs> I'm literally freaking out. I have so much to do. I literally have so much work to do. It is ridiculous, but we're gonna get it done. It's currently 10 a.m. Um, I had things to do this morning, so I did that this morning, but now we're gonna get to packing mode and don't know where to start, but we're gonna start somewhere, so. Let's go. New day, new work. Gotta get everything done today. Like everything in the sense of even my like floating shelf. My floating shelf has to get gone. My TV has to get taken off the wall. Mm, all my photos. Oh my gosh. I don't know. My boyfriend's gonna come and be like, girl, what have you been doing? Because it looks like I did nothing. Anyway, let's see, let's see what we can do. Okay. Let's see what we can do. Nico de Gallo. of difference that was so easy just gotta get my boots down from up there my little texas boots but everything's in my box i was like my decor it looks so empty okay let's keep going we're doing good doing real good
little update here my house is looking a lot more crazy but we're getting things done y'all like cabinets in the kitchen empty 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 okay empty empty did my spice cabinets all i really have left and this is empty up here so all i have left in the kitchen wise is to empty out my fridge and throw away what i don't need and then is to empty out my two pantries here and then the kitchen oh and then what's under here everything that's under the sink but then the kitchen is done besides the miscellaneous things on the uh what's it gonna call it counter i have to do my storage closet still and then only thing i have in my bathroom is the left hand side so i really should be good i did have all my shoes here and then all i have left is this drawer this drawer, this drawer, and these drawers. And then that is done with the bathroom. And then here goes my, whew, here goes my closet, which is looking rough, but there goes my closet with my garbage bag filled with clothes. But all I have to do is just put my laundry stuff away in these miscellaneous items, and then I'm done. So since I'm almost done, I literally washed my sheets because tonight would be my last night sleeping in my house. So I wanted to have a nice, good, fresh recharge in my place. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm either gonna go get some sushi right now or I'm gonna go get kava just to eat a little meal because it is 4.30. So I just wanna make sure I eat because I know I'm gonna be up for a little bit longer. Oh, I probably have to empty out these. Do I have to empty out those? Maybe not because maybe I don't have to. But I'm gonna make up my bed and I'm gonna take a little bite and then we'll see what else I can finish tonight. But y'all, I'm almost done. Literally, I was so nervous when I started this morning and it's four o'clock and I'm literally almost done and I started at like, 10 30 so we're doing the thing we're doing the thing gotta go eat some food and i'll see you guys whenever i figure out what i'm doing next y'all my living room looks nuts but i'm getting it done and getting it out the way and i gotta pack my children i gotta pack um all my little plants so i have to find the perfect box for that i may actually stop by home goods and maybe get 10 more boxes i'll see what they say on my way to go get some food because I'm pretty, I'm using all the boxes that I have, but now I'm kind of just getting down to, I need some bigger boxes for like my under the sink thing. Otherwise I'm just gonna have a bunch of small boxes, which is fine, but we'll see what they say if I feel like going there, okay? That's the plan, see you guys when I get back home. You guys, it's my last sunset in here. I still haven't put my comforter on, but just look. Oh, my last one, how sad. My window looks so dirty <laughs> between me trying to clean it and the outside. Oh, I just ruined it. But look, last sunset. Oh, I miss this place. Let's finish packing. Good morning. Hello. Today is September 7th and it is 10, not 10 a.m. It is 7 a.m. Is that going to take me? Okay. Um, it's moving day, y'all. It's moving day. I'm literally putting the things that I need in the car so they can take everything else that is sitting there. I really hope all my stuff fits in the 10 by 10 storage unit that might freak out me. We're gonna see y'all. We're really gonna see, but it's grind time, so let's see how it goes. I did what I could, I did what I can, and now it's up to the movie people. So, happy Saturday. It's 7 a.m. I'm gonna be snowed up in my bed over right here. So, let's get it. Getting empty. Crazy. In the car, um, let me just give you a rundown for the plan. Because it's a move with me vlog and pack with me vlog. I'm just going to put it all together in one. But currently in the car, getting ready to head to the donation center to drop off everything in my car that I am donating. Which I feel like I did a pretty good job. I got like a whole trunk full. I probably can honestly do more and I'll probably do another donation pile when I move into my new place whenever that's going to be um because I'll figure out what I need and what I don't need I realize that I do have a lot of stuff my boyfriend kept being like girl you got a lot of stuff and I know that I do but like I make my house a home you know so like I probably need a home because the amount of stuff that I have is just giving a lot like I have everything for every single season all of that stuff but I did it well we did it everything is pretty much out of the apartment the plan is my boyfriend's going with the movers to the storage unit to drop everything off and then there's no need for me to go there because he's going to take care of that he's a heaven sent and then I'm going to go back to the apartment finish straightening up like just getting rid of extra boxes that we don't need that I don't need getting rid of just extra items or just there's some last minute 
packing that I had to do like random things so I needed to make sure that I get that out the way I'm gonna sweep up a little bit because Carmen and I are going to clean the apartment tomorrow she's coming to help me because that's my official move out day but I don't want her to be so awful that like she comes and it's absolutely awful that she has to help me clean my apartment so I'm gonna try to do the sprucing up part and then we'll see what other cleaning we have to do when she comes tomorrow but my leasing office I went down yesterday to let them know that I was leaving on Sunday because their office is obviously closed and I signed a form to move out and then I, let, I have to like drop off my key drop off my garage key I have to mail them my mailbox key because I forgot that key that's somewhere so I have to bring them that and then they are like make sure you clean out all the lint out of the dryer oh my gosh I have stuff in the dryer shoot they said make sure you clean out the lint in the dryer because they can charge you for that they said don't worry about painting because they have a contractor who paints and they won't charge me for painting they're like we'd rather do it than have you guys do it and then have to do it all over so they said don't worry about that and then what else they said make sure you look in the oven and the fridge because that seems to be where people forget to clean the most so yeah i'm gonna sweep mop do all that good stuff probably gonna run to target to get a few cleaning supplies that i'll need i also have a return there anyway so um i probably should just run to target while i'm out and about now just to get what i need i left all my cleaning products from the house though in there so I can work on with whatever I have but I know a lot of my cleansers I was running low and I kept being like I'm not gonna fill them because I'm getting ready to leave but now I need to deep clean my apartment and I probably should get some more cleaners so yeah that is what I'm gonna do we'll probably run to Target real quick after we drop off these donations and then we'll go from there but these Houston roads are bumpy as heck dude like my arm feels like it's gonna break with how much I have to hold the phone with so much Mm. emphasis emphasis oh is this a cute little coffee shop this looks cute what's this oh can't even see what it's called but it's cute in the little river oaks area all right let me focus do these um donations and then i will see you guys when we figure out the next plan but almost there literally almost there. and my fridge i don't know why my fridge smells crazy and i think it's because i made the girls boiled chicken oh my gosh it smells awful so my house actually smells kind of crazy so i need to work on it not smelling stinky because it's so stinky and i was like does my house always smell like this and it doesn't but i'm like geez i'm never boiling them chicken again and putting it in the fridge because that's awful i need to figure out a better way because however i'm sealing it mm -mm. Mm -mm. safe to say mm -mm. oh i missed the donation center shoot talking to y'all all right see ya <laughs>
for today at least. I'll see you guys tomorrow when Carmen and I are finished cleaning. I did a lot of the big stuff like clean behind my fridge, clean behind my wine fridge, clean behind my stove, like mop and uh, sweep and do all that stuff. And then I tried to do a brief sweep of the living room and the kitchen. And then I have to do the rest of the stuff in here. But these are just things I need to bring to my mom. So I just have it in the middle of the floor and I'll pack that tomorrow. Got my kids by the window because I will bring them later. And that's pretty much it. I got what I need to bring to my boyfriends and we are good to go. We They literally made such good timing. When I was here cleaning, they finished probably putting everything in the storage unit around 10.30 and we started around 7.30. So like, what? That was so good. That was so good. But yeah, this is getting ready to be end of air. I'll do all my sappy stuff tomorrow because I gotta come back tomorrow to clean this place up. I didn't realize how dirty my ceiling fan was. You don't realize how dirty stuff is until it's time to go and you're like, oh no. So. I did a like a deep clean for the shower and the tub. I'm having all that stuff sit in there until tomorrow so it can just like marinate and then that should be good. And then we'll work on getting the rest of things out of the closet and we should be out of here. So yeah, this is it. And look how my place looks so big now. Cause there's, excuse me, there's nothing inside but when there's was stuff in here, like it didn't feel big at all. I'm like, I feel the 723 square feet. Like I feel it being small, but I'll give you guys a little tour um, on the next video of like my whole apartment. It'll be empty and still have like marks and stuff on the wall, but you can get the vibe and you can see the amenities and all that stuff too. So yeah, that's the plan. See you guys later. I got my hoodie cause I'm literally about to pop it on. It's about to be hoodie season here in Houston. And yeah, see you guys tomorrow when I'm cleaning. Ooh, last day. <laughs> I'll give it to you while it's nice and clean. Here goes my front door. I'm also gonna give this to my apartment so they can see I did clean. Here goes my closet that I kept all of my holiday decor and like all of my vacation stuff. Looks crazy. Fridge, nice and clean. All spotless. You can, yeah, spotless. Same thing with the freezer. I even pulled the freezer out and cleaned what was behind it. Here goes the cabinets. You can see all this, all nice and clean. And then I even cleaned the oven, so the oven is nice and clean. All done with that. Same thing with the microwave, clean the microwave. Here goes all the cabinets again. And then here goes my island. I cleaned behind the wine fridge. Here goes the island, I'll clean that, I'll obviously take with me. That I'll obviously take with my bag. And then here it's where I had all my decor, all nice and clean. I sweep the floors, the floors are swept and mopped. Here goes the living room. And then here goes where the entertainment center and the TV were, which is just gonna get painted over. We'll go back to the balcony. Here goes my room. Here goes my closet, my first closet. That's where I had like all my gym scrubs and Lulu stuff. Again, a swept and mopped floor. Even took the dust off the fan. Here goes the window. Nighttime views went crazy. Okay. Then here goes the bathroom. Bathroom double sinks. Mm -hmm. Swept and mopped this floor too. Here goes the bathtub. Clean the bathtub. Also clean the shower. All nice and clean. Here goes where you do your business. There goes the rest of the counter all clean, even clean the mirror. This is where I had all my towels and stuff. And then here goes my actual closet, which I was doing my latest, my actual closet here. So this I had like shoes and purses, which they're just gonna paint. And then there goes my actual closet. 
it always looks so small on camera when there's so much stuff in there, but it's actually a really decent size. I just had loads and loads of stuff in here. And then here goes the actual washer dryer. I was like storing all my cleaning products here and on here. I even swept around there. And then my lint trap is empty because they like to charge you for those at the moment. Empty. This is it. Wow, I love this place. This is where I feel like I turn into a woman for real. Okay, and then I'll show you the balcony. Then we're out of here. Balcony view. And then here goes the ground. And that's it. And then walk into my place. Nuts. Literally insane. Lock the door. All right. Crazy. So my church clothes on. Literally now I put my pants back on. But getting ready to put the rest of the stuff in the storage unit. But this is it, y'all. Like this is the end of an era. I feel so blessed to be able to live in this place um definitely very pricey but very worth it it was my first high-rise apartment and no not my first i'm lying this is my first high-rise apartment by myself and i absolutely loved it enjoyed it so many memories here so many friends came so many friends came to visit from out of state so many friends came from houston i hosted so many get-togethers here in my sky lounge all of that good stuff literally me turning in my keys i might cry but it's okay on to new things Hopefully bigger and better things. And with God's grace, I know everything will be okay. But this is it. Thank you guys for watching my pack with me, moving vlog, and empty apartment tour all in one video. Hope that you guys enjoyed. I may have a little delay with videos for the next couple weeks just because I'm trying to figure out my whole new plan. But hopefully you guys, you understand. And you'll be back when I start posting more and more content. Thank you guys, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, beautiful.